So just a few days ago, Perplexity has updated its UI and now it is trying to behave similar to Google. So now you can search for a picture on Perplexity and it will show you tons of relevant pictures that it discovered from various websites. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this new feature and what are some of the best practices when using Perplexity to find images. So let's give it a try. First, you have to navigate to Perplexity homepage and you can start typing the keyword or maybe the topic that you want to find images. In this case, I want to search for mountain climbing and I do recommend to include keywords like images or maybe photos, pictures or anything in that nature because the way the search image work in Perplexity is AI decided whether or not the user is looking for images or just looking for general answer. So sometimes, even though you have the intention to find images, but if you're not including these keywords, there is a possibility that perplexity might not be able to show you images. So I'm going to show you some examples later, but let's try using the keyword images. I'm going to send the message and just wait until perplexity is giving the answer. Okay, so as you can see here, there are multiple menus at the top. There is the Pro Search menu, there is Images and Sources. Of course, the one that we want to use is Images. Let's click on it and you will find plenty of photos from various websites, sometimes from social media, sometimes from websites or blogs, sometimes from uh, stock photo websites. So if you are into stock photos, then you can definitely use Placity. But you don't have to use this keyword every single time because sometimes perplexity is smart enough to, to decide that you are looking for a picture. So one example is this, uh, the keyword folding bikes design. I didn't say anything about pictures or photos, but it knows really well, really well that I'm looking for visual content. And therefore, I got this images menu. But sometimes AI might not display this menu, like when I'm asking for the definition of birthday party, there is no images menu. And I think that makes a lot of sense because I'm just looking for an info or definition about this topic. So make sure to include any indication or keywords that would tell AI that you're looking for visual content. And another thing that you can do is you can ask Perplexity to search images from you know certain websites so let me give you another example i want to search for a picture let's say a birthday celebration but i want to get pictures from social media like pinterest or instagram and i'm going to specify that it is going to be from instagram and pinterest and send a message again and there is a good possibility that it will only or at least it will prioritize the result from the social media that i mentioned of course sometimes it is still showing results from other websites but most of the time it will give you results based on your specific website that you prefer now if i click on this images menu and if you click on any result uh, this is from blog this is not from instagram but it does contain the keyword instagram and that's why perplexity might be including it but let's try using or seeing another example this is from pinterest uh, uh finally now it is called instagram party but if you click on the link it is actually leading to the pinterest website but yeah the goal here is is to get pictures from specific websites and if you click other examples it will likely to be from uh, either instagram or pinterest but of course you can always use a different keyword or different websites that you prefer and yeah that's uh, basically how you can use perplexity to search images and uh, despite of this ai smart feature that can you know show the images menu when uh, you need it but it's not always the case because sometimes it is not able to understand what you need and sometimes when you are looking for images this menu just 
uh, did not appear and yeah that's just the side effect of using AI sometimes it's not always accurate but most of the time it will give you exactly what you wanted so that's exactly how you can use perplexity to search for images and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next video